This is the Triton. A little bit different. What makes it different is it's the standalone hair. So while we just talked about hair on the Optimus, there's a standalone hair opportunity called the Triton. And when you're asking yourself, okay, he just told me like I need to get hair on a device that does something else so I don't have a one trick pony, what's this? Here's kind of my qualifiers when I'm setting up strategy for clinics. You should consider a standalone device, number one, if you have a high volume of patients. If you have a high volume of patients, you should consider a standalone device. Like for example, if you already have a ton of Morpheus patients, and you have Morpheus on this Optimus, when we get to Morpheus, my little joke is once you buy one, you're gonna need three. You just totally bypass two and just go straight to three. Because once you figure it out, and once you get one, you'll need three. Your first two should be on a device that does something else. So if you want Morpheus, get it on Optimus and get it on the women's wellness platform, or get it on the Optimus and get it on the body type. And your third one, when you have enough volumes to finally get to three, that's when you get your standalone. Morpheus, because Morpheus comes on its own device that only does Morpheus. I would much rather get a Morpheus on one of these other devices that does a bunch of other things for the same reasons. So, same thing for this hair principle. Unless you have high volumes, I would probably get my hair on an Optimus just from a business standpoint. But if you have high volumes, you should consider a standalone laser hair. Or if you have a high percentage of types fours, fives, and sixes. So if you have a large ethnic population, depending on what part of the country you're in, what your practice is made up of, if you have a large ethnic population, you should consider this device. The reason why is not that the other one can't treat darker skin, it can. You have to just alter the settings low and slow. The diode laser is really good at picking up dark pigment. Really, really good. And so if you're darker skinned, what can we do? What's the opportunity? If you're a dark-skinned individual, and this is really good at picking up dark things, you can create a scenario where you burn people. So for the other laser hair, you just got to back down the settings, which means more treatment sessions, low and slow over time. That's fine. That's all I had for a while. And I was treating types fours, fives, and sixes, and I would just alter my treatment settings for the diode laser. But then the Triton, then I, now I have a Triton, um, this has a very specific wavelength for darker skin individuals, which maintains efficiency. So this wavelength for dark skins, I could treat and treat very efficiently, safely. Okay, so you can treat darker skin types with both. The Triton just does it in a superior fashion because of the wavelengths. So these are my two rules why you should buy a standalone laser hair. Number one is if you have a high volume hair practice. The reason why it makes sense in high volume hair practice is because if you have a lot of hair patients and your optimist is tied up doing hair, what are you not able to do with all the other modalities? Like, I can't use my Morpheus because it's in the hair room. Makes sense. So that's why when you have a high volume, it makes sense to get a standalone. Same with your Morpheus. If you have a lot of Morpheus, this is consistently tied up with Morpheus. You can't use the other things on that because it's always being used over there. That's when you should consider a standalone Morpheus. Does that make sense to everybody on positioning and business?